Hey everybody, this is Drink 64 welcome to my reaction video for A Pony's Tale, Equestrious Fall, Episode 4, Twilight's Dilemma. Oh my god, this is a long time in the making. This is a long time coming. I've been waiting for this ever since the Discord episode, like, months ago now. It feels like forever ago since I did that video, and I've just been waiting. I've just been here waiting for Episode 4, and it's so long, I... There was some issues while making it, I heard, and uh, something to do with the artist and just wouldn't deliver on time, and, it, you know, it was kind of, kind of a problem for the guy, and uh, kind of a shame, because this is a good series. This is shaping up to be something very interesting, and I do want to see it through to the end. Whether he continues for, like, the second season that's planned, or, like, the third season that's supposed to happen, I don't know, but I do want to see the season through to the end, so... Yeah, I am really looking forward to this. Twilight's Dilemma, though, I mean, I rewatched episode 3 the other day, and I honestly... Yeah, I mean, the series is good so far, and I am really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen in this episode, but again... <laughs> it's been so long, and I only rewatched it a couple days ago, so... Anyway, we're just gonna get straight into this, just so that I can, uh... You know, just see what it's all about, so... 3... 2... 1... Okay... And Luna! Okay. Oh, we can barely see a thing in this dreaded blizzard. We have to land somewhere before it gets any worse. That's actually some really good art of Luna. It's no shelter fit for a princess, but it'll have to do for now until this blizzard passes. I can actually forgive them for taking so long with the art, this just because... This will soon be your tomb. What? Who's there? This Viro... Who I am is not important. However, what yeah, is this is Viro. Is your life, for I am here to end it. <laughs> Does thou even know who we are? Hmm, let's see. Princess Luna, Princess of Night. Once known as Nightmare Moon, occupation is rising and lowering the moon. Nearly turned Equestria into a living nightmare because of something she created called the Tantibus. How does thou know us so well? Oh, trust me, my dear. I know much more about you. Things you don't even know. Show yourself! Does he know about the aliens on the moon? <laughs> I mean, if you guys haven't read the comics, that totally happened. I'm not even joking. Save your useless threats, for it's you who underestimates me. Do you seriously think I'm stupid like my reckless sister Chrysalis? No, I've come prepared for you with an army of my own. I'd freaking love it if Chrysalis had a brother on the show. That'd be awesome. If you surrender now, I'll let you live. If not, I'll have no choice but to send my army after you. What's it going to be? Impressive. We still don't get down without a fight. <laughs> a fight you clearly cannot win. Never surrender to a creature like you. No, it's kind of true though. I mean, if Chrysalis can beat Celestia, I'm sure Viro can beat Luna. Just saying. Is Luna going to die? Like I know there's been a lot of deaths in this show, in this series, but uh, can you really kill off Luna? Who are you? My name is Viro. You just killed off Luna. What the hell? Soon I shall be Equestria's ruler. Once I've ridden every threat that stands in our way. <laughs> What? Did they, did they just kill off Luna? How? Like, I mean, killing off Discord was bad enough for me, but killing off Luna... 
Wow. Can't sleep? I've got a lot on my mind. We all do, Sugar Cube. A lot has happened within the past few days. Things we prefer to forget what is with the will ears? never be forgotten. No pony's mind is as cluttered as mine. Ever since I read the message from Cadence, all I can think about is my one and only niece. Oh, the ears are so distracting. Answers. You are having trouble deciding on what to do. Exactly. Both Discord and Celestia stated that all of us need to stick together, but now that I know that Cadence and Shining Armor are in trouble and need me there... I'm stuck, Applejack. What do I do? <laughs> well, Twa, what do you think you should do? The right thing, but no matter what, I choose. The outcome of the situation will end either in guilt or in death. I can't just leave all of you to fend for yourselves, especially against a monster like Viro. But I also can't just leave my niece to die. She's just an innocent baby. It's going to die if I don't save her. There's nothing I can do. Everything is just wrong now. Look, I'm not the best with words, Twa. Also, the, the voice acting has definitely improved a lot. I understand that much that I will say. A lot right now. Like, this series has definitely are. improved do since uh, the earlier the episodes. It's like I said before, this evil is going to test us in more ways than one. <sighs> if only it were that simple. She looks like she's possessed in that image, though. Alright. Twilight, you can do this. Just concentrate. Ugh. Come on, come on! <sighs> Well, that's done. Uh. Cadence! So now Twilight has to be the one to turn day to night or Please night to day. And yeah, I've seen that Cadence. piece before. Princess Celestia? What is it, my dear student? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. I'll leave. Something troubles you, doesn't it? How did you know? I've known you long enough to know when you are troubled, Twilight. You can't hide it. I suppose not. So what is it? What troubles the Princess of Equestria? Lots of things. Well, I wonder. Her best friend Spike died, and several people that she cared about, several ponies that she cared about, have died. So, I wonder. I recently received a message from Cadence telling me to come to the Crystal Empire. Apparently, Viro has infected her as well, and she wants me to come save the baby. I see. Why are you troubled? Well, if I choose to go to the Crystal Empire, I know very well that Viro will take action. I know this is the opportunity he's been waiting for. And if I leave, he'll take over Kanto. The others can't handle him without me. However, if I stay, my innocent niece will face a horrible death, which is one of the most ungrateful things I can do as an aunt. I don't know what to do, Celestia. I'm caught between my niece and Kanto a lot. I understand your position, and just how difficult it is. I had to do something that I will forever regret. But if I hadn't, Equestria would not be the same. You're referring to having to banish Luna? Yes. Even though it was something I didn't want to do, I had to do it. If I had not, Equestria would be internal darkness. Okay, but how does this apply to me? 
think about it, Twilight. Your situation is much like what I had to do. You want to protect your kingdom from Viro, but an innocent life is on the line. Tell me, Twilight, what do you think is the best option? Neither. It's not fair. Yeah, because either way, someone's going to die. Into better terms. Would you rather protect your kingdom or some pony you love and adore that is unaware of what is happening? Ooh, the hardest game ever. Would you rather? This baby will be a princess when she is born. So, you're suggesting that I go to the Crystal Empire? I'm not deciding anything. It's your choice. All I'm saying is sometimes certain things need to happen in order for there to even be hope. I, I don't understand. You will, my dear student, in time. Now, Why do I feel like Celestia is gonna, like, die? I mean, it's kind of a big step. To be perfectly honest, killing off, like, the ruler of Equestria herself. I mean, you've already done Luna. Luna's gone. Cadence is probably gonna go. You get you get rid of Celestia, right, you only have Twilight left. What the is going on with you? You've been quiet ever since you read that message yesterday. Nothing, Rainbow. Don't bother trying to lie. All five of us can tell something is bugging you. <laughs> is it really that obvious? Oh, too, darling. We've been worried about you. So spill it. What's troubling you, Twilight? I... I... Excuse my interruption, Princess, but your assistant's funeral is ready. Thank you. We'll join you soon. How suspicious. He sounds just like Viro. No, he's voiced untroubled, by the same person. But I get I'd it. I'd like to attend Spike's funeral first. Fine. We understand, why. Oh, okay, no, that's a rich. funeral for Spike. Right. We're still let's going on that whole thing. If any pony has any words to say, please speak now, so we may put Spike to rest. I do. You may speak. Thank you. Spike was a loyal friend. You didn't do this for Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he could be a bit naive at some point, unless Discord isn't he dead, but made up for his faults. I brought Spike into this world. Come on, nobody likes Spike. Out of it. I gained many things. I was admitted. Nah, Spike isn't. Spike isn't that bad of a character. As her protege, it's just most of his older episodes are crap. Before me, and unless it's like Gone Little Fire, the Changeling episode, both in season six. This possible, and even though he's gone, I know he's just still with me in my heart. Rest in peace, my loyal assistant. Until we meet again someday. Thank you, Princess. Would any pony else like to say anything before we lower the casket? Come on, Rarity. I say it, Rarity. All that spoke for all of us. Very well. Then proceed to Dude, you totally missed yes, out on all the rarity I spike shipping. Spike. Something he gave me many years ago. I believe it's time I return the favor. The casket is closed, miss. Are you sure you can open the casket one more time? This is important. I suppose. May I ask what it is that you plan to give Spike? Oh, the heart gem! The fire ruby? Yeah, the fire ruby. Yes. Oh, they actually. I'm glad he did something with Rarity because I feel like Rarity and Spike is one of those relationships in MLP that I'm on board with. I do like that, and. You sure about this, Rarity? Oh, I'm so glad he did something with that. It's the perfect opportunity as well. Not so much for the whole shipping part, but just their relationship in general is really nice in the show. And Oh, come on. Okay, I'm really glad you did something with Rarity, though. I was probably my favorite part of the episode so far. You may proceed. Very well. Lower the casket. Goodbye, my loyal assistant. 
Dude, I don't even like Spike that much in the actual show, but you know, this kind of makes me feel bad for him. We need you. I don't know what to do, Cadence. I can't save you and canter a lot at the same time. Cadence? Follow your heart, Twilight. Realize the truth of reality. Only then will you know what to decide. Cadence? Cadence? Who can you save? <laughs> Hold the end, Twilight. Twilight! That is the freakiest shit I've seen all day. It's just a nightmare. Oh my god. Just a nightmare? I think that was more than just a nightmare. You scared the hay out of us. We thought that Viro had attacked you again. Twa? You don't have- No, Applejack. Rainbow's right. That was more than just a nightmare. I felt it was too real to just be a nightmare. Is there something you'd like to tell us, darling? You mentioned that something was troubling you earlier, but you never told us. Ever since I read that note, I've been struggling to make a decision. A decision that can decide Equestria's fate. Why didn't you ever tell us, Twilight? We're your friends. Because it involves all of you. My niece is in danger in the Crystal Empire. And Cadence is deathly ill. But if I leave all of you to fend for yourselves, I know that Viro will take it as an opportunity to take Canterlot along with the rest of Equestria. <laughs> I don't know also, what's Pinkie what Pie here? Do. I can't decide. The nightmare I had is something that I never wanted to envision, but now it will be stuck in my mind. I wonder if a member of the main six the is going to get killed life. off at some point. I envisioned my niece as Viro, and I'm afraid that my nightmare will become a reality. Hold on, Twilight. Nightmares are nightmares, not something that can become a reality. Not true. I had a nightmare one day prior to Spike's death. It was about Chrysalis killing me and taking Canterlot. Oh yeah, way back from the first episode. That all of you had died, and Celestia had died too. Take a look at what has happened in the past few days. Spike dies. Princess Luna doesn't return. I was corrupted in an attempt to kill all of you. And lastly, Celestia is infected and is slowly dying. You forgot that about Discord. Was a premonition. And now I'm afraid I'm not mad. That this <laughs> is another premonition. Oh. That would explain. Still, Discord did die, I think, so in my nightmare. Did you really forget about that? To follow my heart. And what is your heart telling you, Twilight? It's telling me to save my niece, but I just can't leave all of you. Then do what your heart tells you, Twilight. Hmm? I thought all of you wouldn't support my decision. We're your friends, darling. Of course we support your decision. What if Viro gets you? Come on, Twilight. What do we look like? Saps. We are aware of the possibilities, but even if Viro does attack, we wouldn't go down without a fight. I know. But Viro is unlike any other villain we faced. Viro makes T-Rex a magic-sucking tyrant we had to face using a special type of magic. I don't know. I think Starlight Glimmer was pretty, uh, pretty damn powerful. Viro is clever and would be Although I don't know when this is actually set technically. I can't they had the treehouse, so I presume it's set before season five in the first place, so knowledge to take my place. Okay, Starlight Glimmer wasn't even a thing at this point. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Pinky. They read my mind. Pinky, quit breaking the fourth wall. Oh, sorry, viewers. Hmm. What about that one from the other dimension? Sunset Glimmer? That's part of the episode. You mean like, Sunset Glimmer? That, that hasn't even happened by this that point. That actually work. 
<laughs> That's great. A message in one of Celestia's magic textbooks. You won't be going to the Crystal Empire alone either. You'll need protection yourself, Twilight. If Sunset Shimmer does take your place, I'll go with you to the Crystal Empire. Are you sure, Rainbow? More sure than I've ever been about anything. Okay, so oh, Sunset right. Shimmer's going you to be coming to Equestria. Me. Just let me write a message to Sunset, and then we'll wait for her response. While keeping your eyes peeled for Fyro. Oh that no, but then the main plan. seven in uh, Cancelar High will become the main six. I don't like that. Was still <laughs> night. I'm wide awake, so all of you want to go back to sleep. Go ahead. I've got a message to send. Just be careful. You too. Been a while since I used one of these. Here I go. Is this the literal phone book? Hopefully this works. Now, I'd better go back to the others. Okay, so we are getting some Sunset Shimmer Equestria Girl stuff. Strange. Usually it's me. I wonder what Twilight wants. Dear Sunset, you must come back to Canterlot immediately. Celestia is dying. One of my friends has been killed, and a clever foe named Viro has caused Canterlot and Ponyville to fall into Well, I guess for the amount of times that Twilight has helped them with, like, the dazzlings and that sort of thing, she... Sunset kind of owes her a favor. ...and plans to do much worse. I need you to take my place as princess while I tend to other matters that I must attend. You're the only unicorn I know that has knowledge close to mine. That has knowledge. You need knowledge. Sorry for the sudden message, but Equestria is in danger, and unless Vyra was stopped, Equestria will fall to a horrible faith. Please be. Did she really write all this in that short ass amount of time? <laughs> Your friend Twilight. Well, I never thought he'd be doing this again. So she just leaves. Her friends at Cantor Twilight. High? I'm not sure. Really? She should have the courtesy. Okay. To help you. Please. <laughs> Seeing you've saved her world from danger twice. I agree, but I don't know if she's even gotten Excuse me, Princess, but there's some pony at the gates. She says that you called her here. What's her name? Sunset Shimmer. Let her through. She's a friend. Very well. Sunset! Is this why you're really gonna leave it? Gay! Pony Sunset Shimmer! <laughs> Okay. Already, this was honestly the best episode. <laughs> there were some awesome moments in this. Luna died? What? Cadence says maybe gonna die, maybe even Celestia. Um The Pinkie Pie Fourth Wall Break. Oh my god. That was great. That was great. Okay, so I really actually like that episode. That was really the best episode out of all of them. Uh, the Pinkie Pie fourth wall break and all that was absolutely all, uh, funny as all hell. I mean, 
When I was thinking in my head, like, what about Starlight Glimmer? Oh wait, Starlight Glimmer doesn't exist at this point because this is like before season five, before Twilight had the castle. So, um, yeah, Pinkie Pie just saying like, what about the Starlight Glimmer was actually really cool just because the fourth wall breaking was awesome. Overall, this episode was brilliant. I mean, yeah, Sunset Shimmer now. I can't wait to see where it's gonna go with that. Um, again, it does make me wonder why Sunset Shimmer would just leave like that. I mean, she clearly didn't tell any of her friends. She just left like that, so why? I mean, maybe I'm just poking holes at this on purpose, or maybe I'm just nitpicking. This is just my personal nitpicking, but maybe it's just a bit of a plot hole in there. I don't know, but overall, this was a good episode. I definitely enjoyed it. The question now is, when's episode 5 going to come? Because the wait between episode 1 and 2 wasn't long at all. The wait between 2 and 3 was okay. It was pretty long. The wait between 3 and 4 was a crap ton of time. And I was honestly almost giving up on the series. So, um, when episode 5 is going to come, don't make it like, um, because don't make it like, a large-ass hiatus thing, kind of like uh, waiting so long. Kind of like with Steven Universe and Gravity Falls is like the best example I can think of for hiatuses. Taking months to get any kind of episode out and then another hiatus after just a couple of episodes. That, that just sucks, okay? I know the artists take a while and honestly if the art is as good as it was in this episode, take as long as they need, dude. Really, it was awesome. But uh, I also, what the hell was wrong with the ears? I mean, that, well, that was kind of distracting, but honestly, that's just me, again, nitpicking. There's nothing wrong with the episode. I loved it. But, um, yeah, it's just when episode 5's gonna come, because the wait was uh, kind of hard on this one, because, uh, yeah, it was just kind of a long wait, and uh, honestly, I was almost about to give up on the series, just because, oh, we know episode four is never gonna come, and all that, but I'm glad it did. I'm glad it came at this point, just uh, because... You know, I almost got to a point where I'm not even going to carry on with, you know, even looking at this, so, you know. Anyway, overall, I really enjoyed this, and if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.